So in this video, you see a generalized workflow for how you might go around using the Meet Machine uh, geometry nodes set up to create your characters or whatever you're sculpting. Um, again, it's really sort of blurring the, philosoph uh, the philosophical lines between whether we're sculpting or using geometry nodes right now. This initial skeleton starts with some of the presets in a collection that has every implementation. And these are sort of um, generalized ideas of how you can change the parameters on the modifier for a starting bone that's either a chain bone or something with epiphyses on the end, which are the little bony knobs. And so usually what I do is when I am ready for sculpting the next chunk of this, I grab the closest preset that kind of fits that and I use that as a general start point. And then I start using the curve tool to draw curves or extrude curves. And that's where I go. So you can see here, I started off with the main like humerus and uh, radius and ulna. Uh, I use the chain bones to make the spine and really it's so pleasant from an artistic standpoint to just say here's my line of action and then that's your spine, that's your tail. And then also uh, the same thing is true for the fingers. It's a single curve drawing for the fingers. And then you can duplicate it and you know a lot of object mode sensibilities and edit mode sensibilities are still here. Uh, I put, I used a blob preset to put that blob in the center for his chest. And that's eventually gonna pay off in a little bit when I start using that as a surface. The other thing that's really nice about this, um, you know, for years I've hit Alt S to scale a curve by the A point, And I've kind of been mad that I can't hit Alt S and then choose S, or I can't hit X or Y to make it specify the X or Y axis. Because I'm doing this in geometry nodes, I'm able to uh, modify the X or Y axis. So I'm able to get these like thin sheet plates even though it's all being managed by a curve. And so that's what I used as the starting point for constructing a lot of the skull stuff. Um, the skull and the uh, hip bones, the pelvis, have a lot of these like large platy areas. I think I used this also for the, um, the shoulder blade in a little bit. Again, check your reference. So I have a radius and an ulna for that wrist twist. And there's the shoulder blade. <clears throat> um, what's fun is when I start switching over to the muscles right around here. Oh, no, I'm making teeth first. But look at that. Just one, just one swoop, and then you've got all your teeth ready to go. And you can scale them as you want. So now I'm using surface drawing, and I'm using one of the presets that's just a point A to point B muscle. Um, I oftentimes will switch between two or three presets. So I'll have two or three objects, one that's like big, one that's little, and one that's medium. And also I'm switching between these based on whether I want them to be straight or not. So muscles are basically a rubber band, and sometimes that rubber band has to stretch over other forms, but other times it's like you know your bicep, it goes from point A to point B. And it's something where you can have the, in the primary stuff panel, you can set that to zero. Uh, now I'm using the sheet muscle preset, which is really handy so that I don't have to overdraw, I don't have to draw over and over and over for multiple sinews that are going along like the center of your rib cage outward. And so just one curve is kind of great for your pec muscles, your back muscles, uh, a lot of those long sheet muscles. Uh, the one flaw with the sheet muscles is that you can't necessarily uh, have multiple curves, or you can't have multiple splines per curve object. So that's one that, um, you know, that's a bug I still have to fix. But every time I need a new sheet muscle, I duplicate the object and I start fresh. Uh, this is sort of an Anubis kind of character, but, you know, it's really feeling like I'm drawing here. Like, I didn't go in with any concept art. I maybe Googled some reference. I kind of had an idea of what I wanted. But this whole thing took... I don't know, only a, a couple of minutes, comparative to, uh, I don't know, sculpting workflows where trying to get all these details really sucks, but the muscle is just one muscle, you know? I'm going to pause this video at some point and try and see how long it is. Uh, I think I spent about an hour on this. But I have all this detail. In a later version of this, uh, and actually the version that uh, comes as a demo sculpt for the preset file, 
this is actually animated, so he actually emerges from nowhere, and it's kind of great. But this is, again, just a jumping off point. This whole goal is to just have sculpting be faster and easier, and that's what it is now.